our relations in the framework of this comprehensive and enhanced partnership agreement. But at the same time, we also acknowledge that there is room to unlock the full potential of this agreement. In October, in the European Parliament, your Prime Minister said that Armenia is ready to move closer to the European Union. In response, last October, the European Council, at the highest political level of the European Union, tasked me and the Commission to explore ways to strengthen our relations, the European Union-Armenia relations, in all their dimensions. And in this context, today we decided to launch a work on an ambitious new European Union-Armenia partnership agenda. This decision sends a strong signal of our mutual interest in a new strategic phase in our relations, and it will provide a clear roadmap and a vision for the way forward. This is about the future. The future starts today. But let's look back at the last year. Human rights, the rule of law, and democratic principles continue to underpin our cooperation. And I welcome the steps taken in the justice reform, the fight against corruption, and encourage Armenia to further address challenges in the fight against discrimination, hate speech, and disinformation. I also want to congratulate, as I did, Armenia on becoming the 124th state party of the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. That's a very important and courageous decision from your side. Looking ahead, we discuss options to start a visa liberalization dialogue with the European Union. I took good note of Armenia's strong interest and encouraged Armenia to further step up reforms in order to progress in this issue. Together, we discuss how to strengthen our relationship and, in particular, the resilience of Armenia, not only in trade, on energy, on connectivity, and aviation safety. We will also help decommission the Metsamor nuclear power plant while improving uh, nuclear safety. I reaffirm the European Union commitment to support Armenia's participation in the Black Sea Electricity Cable Project and other regional connectivity projects. This initiative has a strong potential to serve <coughs> dividends for peace. And if you allow me, Minister, this brings me to another important point. We discuss the regional situation and the Armenia-Azerbaijan normalization process unhappily including the latest incident at the border. The Armenian shooting of the Azerbaijani soldiers yesterday was deplorable, but the Azerbaijan response today seems to be disproportionate. Ignoring the announcement by the Armenian Minister of Defense that this incident will be fully investigated. This uh, it again illustrates the urgent need for the distancing of forces, which is something that the European Union has been advocating for a long time. And today I have uh, to reiterate the European Union's full commitment to supporting a sustainable and lasting peace based on the principle of recognition of sovereignty the inviolability of borders and territorial integrity. Our mission in Armenia, the European Union mission in Armenia, has recently been reinforced with a stronger, a bigger number of staff and will continue to contribute to ensuring an environment conducive to normalization efforts. We will continue supporting the Armenians displaced from Nagorno-Karabakh region. 
Today the Commission announced an additional 5.5 million euros in humanitarian aid. This funding comes in addition to the 12.2 million already provided in September to address the urgent humanitarian needs, as well as 15 million budget support for the socio-economic needs of Armenia. We will continue supporting Armenia in the medium and long term for the integration of refugees in your society and economy. <clears throat> we discuss other areas to strengthen Armenian resilience, and I express my full commitment to further enhancing our cooperation in the areas of security and defense. We will build our dialogue on foreign security policy in the coming months. Today, meetings clearly show that uh, EU-Armenia relations are stronger than ever, but there is a mutual interest to advance them further. Our commitment to develop this uh, agenda, an ambitious agenda for our renewed partnership, and when we will be advancing on this work, and I will be able to deliver some concrete results, it will be my pleasure to visit you in Armenia and to share with you your wonderful landscapes. Thank you.